Europe, climate, vegetation and wildlife. One more important feature of Europe is its pleasant climate. The factors affecting the climate of Europe are its latitudes, which give it an overall temperate climate, its nearness to the sea, the North Atlantic Drift, which washes the Atlantic coast of Europe that makes the western coast of Europe much warmer than places in similar latitudes on other continents, and the warm westerlies that blow into Europe, making it warmer than it otherwise would have been. Europe can be divided into five principal climatic regions, namely the British type, the continental type, the Mediterranean type, taiga, and the tundra type. The climate of Europe is moderate almost all over the continent, except in Russia, and most of the parts receive abundant rainfall, except Eastern Europe. The British type of climate is found in Western Europe. It includes Northern Spain, Northwestern France, Belgium, Netherlands, Denmark, Western Norway, British Isles and Iceland. The moderating influence of the sea, the North Atlantic Drift and the Westerlies make the climate equable. Summers are warm rather than hot, and winters are cool instead of cold. The warm westerlies bring plenty of rainfall throughout the year. However, there is more rainfall during winter when the capacity of the cool air to hold moisture decreases. Rain of cyclonic origin is also more in winter. One of the characteristics of the weather of the British type is the high humidity and cloudiness and frequent changes brought on by the depressions. This type of climate is also known as the maritime type, oceanic type and the West European type. The main characteristics of the British type of climate are mild winters in spite of the high latitudes and a good amount of rainfall distributed throughout the year. Temperate deciduous forests form the natural vegetation of the British type. Trees that have thick trunks and broad leaves like the oak, elm, maple, beech and birch are commonly found here. They shed their leaves in the autumn season, also known as the fall. There are not many wild animals in Western Europe apart from foxes, deer, wolves, rabbits, beavers and hedgehogs. The continental type of climate is found in Central Europe, Eastern Europe and Russia. Since the region is away from the moderating influence of the sea, the climate is extreme. Summers are hot and winters are very cold. The annual range of temperature is wide and becomes wider as one goes from west to east with the maximum in Russia due to the decreasing influence of the sea. The rainfall also decreases as one goes from west to east. Summer rainfall ranges from moderate to scanty. This region lies in the westerlies wind belt but the westerlies do not bring much rain since they are quite dry by the time they come into the interior of the continent. This region is also called the Central European type of climate. Since the rainfall is not sufficient enough to support the growth of trees, natural vegetation here consists of grass which is shorter and less coarse than the grass of the tropical grasslands. However, most of the land has been cleared for agriculture and crops like wheat, rye, barley and other cereals are grown here. Animals like antelopes, horses and wolves are found in this region. 
The Mediterranean type of climate is found in the region bordering the Mediterranean Sea, including Spain, Portugal, southern France, Italy, Croatia, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Yugoslavia, Albania and Greece. The summers are hot and the winters are mild along with moderate rainfall in the winter season. In the summer months, this region comes under the influence of the offshore trade winds since the subtropical high-pressure belt moves northwards. These winds are dry and so there is no rainfall. In winter, when the subtropical high-pressure belt moves southwards, this region comes under the influence of the onshore westerlies. The vegetation is adapted in different ways to withstand the hot and dry summers. Tall trees are rare. Oak, walnut, almond, fig, as well as cedar, pines and firs are found here. Trees like the cork oak have thick, spongy barks that prevent excessive loss of moisture. Grape vines develop very long roots in search of water. Plants like lemon, orange and laurel have small leathery leaves to reduce water loss through transpiration. The olive tree has waxy leaves to check water loss. Not much wildlife is found here since most of the natural vegetation has been removed to make land available for agriculture. The Taiga climate region stretches almost continuously from Norway in the west to Russia and Siberia in the east. The winters are very cold and severe and last for about seven months. The summers are warm and short. Rainfall, which varies from little to moderate, mostly falls in summers. The amount of rainfall is nearer the coast and decreases towards the interior. Most of the precipitation is in the form of snow. The vegetation consists of evergreen forests, which consists of trees which do not shed their leaves at the same time and hence, these forests appear green throughout the year, unlike deciduous forests. The common trees found here are the pine, fir, spruce and cedar. Animals found here are few and most of them are small. Fur-bearing animals like lynx, mink, sable and squirrel are found here. The tundra region is beyond the coniferous belt in the Arctic region. It is found in the northern parts of Norway, Sweden, Finland and Russia. Winters are long and severely cold and summers are short and cool. Rainfall is scanty, mostly in the form of snow. The vegetation here is sparse as the ground remains frozen throughout the year. Mosses and lichens grow here. This kind of vegetation can withstand extreme cold and survive on very little moisture. It can remain alive under the snow. During the short summer, the land is bright with flowers. Trees cannot grow here because the surface is frozen during winter and the subsoil remains permanently frozen. The reindeer is the most important animal of the tundra, along with whales, seals, walruses, arctic foxes, polar bears, musk ox and the saber-toothed cat. The northern part of Norway, Sweden, Finland and northern Russia is tilted towards the sun in summer and remains in complete light for 24 hours. Thus, in summer, the sun is visible even at midnight. In winter, this region remains in complete darkness. The sun is not visible for six months.